Joshua 18. Then the whole congregation of the people of Israel assembled at Shiloh and set up the tent of meeting there. The land lay subdued before them. There remained among the people of Israel seven tribes whose inheritance had not yet been apportioned. So Joshua said to the people of Israel, How long will you put off going in to take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you? Provide three men from each tribe, and I will send them out that they may set out and go up and down the land. They shall write a description of it with a view to their inheritances, and then come to me. They shall divide it into seven portions. Judah shall continue in his territory on the south, and the house of Joseph shall continue in their territory on the north. And you shall describe the land in seven divisions and bring the description here to me. And I will cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. The Levites have no portion among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their heritage. And Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan eastward, which Moses, a servant of the Lord, gave them. So the men arose and went. And Joshua charged those who went to write the description of the land, saying, Go up and down in the land, and write a description, and return to me, and I will cast lots for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. So the men went, and passed up and down in the land, and wrote in a book a description of it by towns and seven divisions. Then they came to Joshua, to the camp at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua apportioned the land to the people of Israel, to each his portion." The lot of the tribe of the people of Benjamin, according to its clans, came up, and the territory allotted to it fell between the people of Judah and the people of Joseph. On the north side their boundary began at the Jordan, then the boundary goes up to the shoulder north of Jericho, then up through the hill country westward, and it ends at the wilderness of Beth-Avon. From there the boundary passes along southward in the direction of Luz, to the shoulder of Luz, that is Bethel, then the boundary goes down to Ararathadar, on the mountain that lies south of Lower Beth Horon. Then the boundary goes in another direction, turning on the western side southward from the mountain that lies to the south, opposite Beth Horon, and it ends at Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jerim, a city belonging to the people of Judah. This forms the western side. And the southern side begins at the outskirts of Kiriath Jerim, and the boundary goes from there to Ephron, to the spring of the waters of Nephtoah. Then the boundary goes down to the border of the mountain that overlooks the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is at the north end of the valley of Rephaim, and it then goes down the valley of Hinnom, south of the shoulder of the Jebusites, and downward to En-Rogel. Then it bends in a northerly direction, going on to En-Shemesh, and from there goes to Gililoth, which is opposite the ascent of Adumim. Then it goes down to the stone of Boan, the son of Reuben, and passing on to the north of the shoulder of Beth Arabah, it goes down to the Arabah. Then the boundary passes on to the north of the shoulder of Beth Hogla, and the boundary ends at the northern bay of the Salt Sea, at the south end of the Jordan. This is the southern border. The Jordan forms its boundary on the eastern side. This is the inheritance of the people of Benjamin, according to their clans, boundary by boundary, all around. Now the cities of the tribe of the people of Benjamin, according to their clans, were Jericho, Beth Hogla, Amekaziz, Beth Araba, Zemaraim, Bethel, Avim, Para, Ophra, Shephar, Ammonai, Ophni, Geba, twelve cities with their villages Gibeon, Rama, Biroth, Mizpeh, Chephira, Moza, Rechem, Irpiel, Tarala, Zela, Ha Elef, Jebus, that is Jerusalem, Gibeah, and kiriath Jarim, fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the people of Benjamin, according to its clans. Joshua 19. The second lot came out for Simeon, for the tribe of the people of Simeon, according to their clans, and their inheritance was in the midst of the inheritance of the people of Judah. And they had for their inheritance Beersheba, Sheba, Moladah, Hazar Shual, Bala, Izem, El Tolad, Bethel, Hormah, Ziklag, Beth Markabath, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebaoth, and Sheruen, thirteen cities with their villages, Ain, Rimon, Ether, and Ashan, four cities with their villages, together with all the villages around these cities as far as Balath Beer, Rama of the Negeb. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Simeon according to their clans. 
the inheritance of the people of Simeon formed part of the territory of the people of Judah, because the portion of the people of Judah was too large for them. The people of Simeon obtained an inheritance in the midst of their inheritance. The third lot came up for the people of Zebulun according to their clans, and the territory of their inheritance reached as far as Sarid, and their boundary goes up westward and on to Mariel, and touches Dabasheth, then the brook that is east of Jokniam. From Sarid it goes in the other direction eastward toward the sunrise to the boundary of Chisloth Tabor. From there it goes to Dabarath, then up to Jephiah. From there it passes along on the east toward the sunrise to Gath Hefer, to Eth Kazin, and going on to Rimon, it bends toward Ne'er. Then on the north the boundary turns about to Hanathan, and it ends at the valley of Iftahel. And Katath, Nahalal, Shimran, Adalah, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the people of Zebulun according to their clans, these cities with their villages. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, for the people of Issachar according to their clans. Their territory included Jezreel, Chesalath, Shunem, Hafararim, Shion, Anaharath, Rabith, Kishion, Ibez, Remeth, Enganim, Enhada, Beth Pazez. The boundary also touches Tabor, Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh. At its boundary ends at the Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Issachar, according to their clans, the cities with their villages. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of the people of Asher, according to their clans. Their territory included Helkath, Halai, Beten, Akshaf, Alamelech, Ahmad, and Mishal. On the west it touches Carmel and Shehor Libnath, then it turns eastward, it goes to Beth Dagon, and touches Zebulun and the valley of Iftahel, northward to Beth Emek and Neiel. Then it continues in the north to Kabul, Ebron, Rehab, Haman, Cana, as far as Sidon the Great. Then the boundary turns to Rama, reaching to the fortified city of Tyre. Then the boundary turns to Hosa, and it ends at the sea, Mahalab, Akzib, Uma, Afek, and Rehab, twenty-two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Asher according to their clans, these cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out for the people of Naphtali, for the people of Naphtali according to their clans, and their boundary ran from Heleth, from the oak in Zanan Anim, and Adamai Nekeb, and Jabniel as far as Lakum, and it ended at the Jordan. Then the boundary turns westward to Asnath Tabor, and goes from there to Hukok, touching Zebulun at the south, and Asher on the west, and Judah on the east, at the Jordan. The fortified cities are Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Chinnereth, Adama, Ramah, Hazor, Kadesh, Idre, En Hazor, Iran, Migdal El, Horem, Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh. Nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Naphtali according to their clans, the cities with their villages. The seventh lot came out for the tribe of the people of Dan according to their clans, and the territory of its inheritance included Zorah, Eshtoal, Ir Shemesh, Sha'alabin, Eizalon, Itla, Elon, Timnah, Ekron, El Teke, Gibethan, Baalath, Jehud, Benebarak, Gath Ramon and Mi, Jarkon, and Rakon with the territory over against Joppa. When the territory of the people of Dan was lost to them, the people of Dan went up and fought against Leshem, and after capturing it and striking it with the sword, they took possession of it and settled in it, calling Leshem Dan, after the name of Dan their ancestor. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Dan according to their clans, these cities with their villages. When they had finished distributing the several territories of the land as inheritances, the people of Israel gave an inheritance among them to Joshua the son of Nun. By command of the Lord they gave him the city that he asked, Timnath Sarah, in the hill country of Ephraim, and he rebuilt the city and settled in it. These are the inheritances that Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun 
and the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel, distributed by lot at Shiloh before the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So they finished dividing the land. Psalm 149 Praise to the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise in the assembly of the godly. Let Israel be glad in his Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. Let them praise his name with dancing, making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with salvation. Let the godly exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their throats and two-edged swords in their hands to execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute on them the judgment written, This is honor for all his godly ones. Praise the Lord. Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with trumpet sound. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with tambourine and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jeremiah 9, O oh, that my head were waters, and my eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. O oh, that I had in the desert traveler's lodging place, that I might leave my people and go away from them, for they are all adulterers, a company of treacherous men. They bend their tongue like a bow, falsehood and not truth has grown strong in the land. For they proceed from evil to evil, and they do not know me, declares the Lord. Let everyone beware of his neighbor, and put no trust in any brother. For every brother is a deceiver, and every neighbor goes about as a slanderer. Everyone deceives his neighbor, no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies. They weary themselves committing iniquity, heaping oppression upon oppression and deceit upon deceit. They refuse to know me, declares the Lord. Therefore thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will refine them and test them. For what else can I do because of my people? Their tongue is a deadly arrow, it speaks deceitfully. With his mouth each speaks peace to his neighbor. But in his heart he plans an ambush for him. Shall I not punish them for these things, declares the Lord? And shall I not avenge myself on a nation such as this? I will take up weeping and wailing for the mountains, and a lamentation for the pastures of the wilderness, because they are laid waste so that no one passes through, and the lowing of cattle is not heard. Both the birds of the air and the beasts have fled and are gone. I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a lair of jackals, and I will make the cities of Judah a desolation without inhabitants. Who is the man so wise that he can understand this? To whom has the mouth of the Lord spoken that he may declare it? Why is the land ruined and laid waste like a wilderness so that no one passes through? And the Lord says, Because they have forsaken my law that I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice or walked in accord with it, but have stubbornly followed their own hearts and have gone after the Baals, as their fathers taught them. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will feed this people with bitter food and give them poisonous water to drink. I will scatter them among the nations whom neither they nor their fathers have known, and I will send the sword after them until I have consumed them. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider, and call for the morning women to come. Send for the skillful women to come. Let them make haste and raise a wailing over us, that our eyes may run down with tears and our eyelids flow with water. For a sound of wailing is heard from Zion. How we are ruined, we are utterly shamed because we have left the land, because they have cast down our dwellings. Hear, O women, the word of the Lord. 
and let your ear receive the word of his mouth. Teach to your daughters a lament, and each to her neighbor a dirge. For death has come up into our windows, it has entered our palaces, cutting off the children from the streets and the young men from the squares. Speak! Thus declares the Lord, The dead bodies of men shall fall like dung upon the open field, like sheaves after the reaper, and none shall gather them. Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man boast in his wisdom, let not the mighty man boast in his might, let not the rich boast in his riches, but let him who boasts boast in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth, for in these things I delight, declares the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will punish all those who are circumcised merely in the flesh, Egypt, Judah, Edom, the sons of Ammon, Moab, and all who dwell in the desert, who cut the corners of their hair. For all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel is uncircumcised in heart. Matthew 23. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat, so practice and observe whatever they tell you, but not what they do. For they preach, but do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear, and lay them on people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to move them with their finger. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long, and they love the place of honor at feasts and the best seats in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplaces and being called rabbi by others. But you are not to be called rabbi, for you have one teacher, and you are all brothers. And call no man your father on earth, for you have one father who is in heaven. Neither be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Christ. The greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut the kingdom of heaven in people's faces, for you neither enter yourselves nor allow those who would enter to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you travel across sea and land to make a single proselyte, and when he becomes a proselyte, you make him twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, If anyone swears by the temple, it is nothing, but if anyone swears by the gold of the temple, he is bound by his oath. You blind of fools, for which is greater, the gold or the temple that has made the gold of sacred? And you say, If anyone swears by the altar, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gift that is on the altar, he is bound by his oath. You blind men, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? So whoever swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it, and whoever swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And whoever swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you tithe mint and dill and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faithfulness. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others, you blind guides, straining out a gnat and swallowing a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean the outside of the cup and the plate, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup and the plate, that the outside also may be clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but within are full of dead people's bones and all uncleanness. So you also outwardly appear righteous to others, but within you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. 
Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the monuments of the righteous, saying, If we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you witness against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your fathers, you serpents, you brood of vipers, how are you to escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues and persecute from town to town, so that on you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth from the blood of innocent Abel to the blood of Zechariah the son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly I say to you, all these things will come upon this generation." O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you would not. See, your house is left to you desolate, for I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord.